So, Bob, you recently went to an emotionally focused therapy training for individuals because usually EFT is what we call emotional, emotionally focused therapy is, is it emotion, is it emotionally f or emotion focused? Oh, good question. There are two animals, emotionally focused therapy for couples. That's Sue Johnson. Emotion focused therapy is Les Greenberg. I used to know the difference. There is a diff difference. Um, they're also linked because she was his graduate student and she developed her, you know, her, her, MO is different from his, and I'm not real clear about what the difference is. I have something on my computer if we really want to look it up. If I was to take a stab at it, this is just a guess based on, you know, from studying both Greenberg and Johnson. Yeah. Greenberg was, fo he was focused on individuals right. for the most part and wanted people to, uh, or his style of therapy was... Uh, instead of focusing on cognitions and on history, it was like, what's, you know, what's going on for you emotionally right now? And, right. and the times, a lot of the dominant therapy models were actually trying to get people to stop talking about their emotions. Right. To get them, you know, to, that emotions were like these pesky things that were remnants from our past, you know, uh, evolution. They were... Pri and we still kind of talk this way. It's like I was on the road, someone cut me off, and my my reptile brain kicked in, and I wanted to kill that person. Right. Well, we can all say like, well, okay, that emotion is something that we don't want to value or or guide our behavior. Right. So they kind of shoved all emotions into that, and Greenberg comes along as part of a, I believe the humanistic movement. If if I'm remembering right, I'm not sure. Makes sense and wanted to f focus on, em on emotions and, and say that emotions were important, that they were important guides to your needs, and that when you listen to your emotions, you, you can find well-being, and you shouldn't try to reduce, again, this is me just taking a stab at mm -hmm. it. And then Sue Johnson, who was a grad student of Greenberg, really liked emotion-focused therapy, and as she started to learn about attachment theory right. as well, yeah. and she started to do uh, family therapy and couple therapy, she started to develop a, a, a version of emotion or a emotionally focused therapy that was uh, integrated for both uh, integrative of both what Greenberg was talking about and attachment theory, attachment theory. while applying it to systems, systems. and communication and in the room bonding and helping people to meet each other's attachment needs. Um, so that's my guess. I think that's true. Yeah. Uh, so we can say emotion focused or emotionally focused, I, I guess. But we're, what we're talking about with you here, Sue Johnson's emotionally yeah. focused. Yes. Therapy normally for couples, couples. And, couples and families. Uh, but you went to a training for using this model, EFT, with individuals. Is that right? Yes. They call it EFIT, Emotionally Focused Individual Therapy. EFIT. EFIT. Because e we need another acronym. Right. Sounds, I mean, it sounds like a wearable, right? A device. An EFIT. Yeah. There probably is an EFIT somewhere out there. Oh, yeah. There's a Fitbit. There's an e-commerce. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I thought we would go into that. Sure. But first, let's introduce the podcast. Well, give us a taste a little bit of, of what we might talk about today. It's like going on the holodeck of the Enterprise. Honest to God. What do you mean? EFIT, e, uh, EFIT is, um, is actually working with, um, uh, they don't say it like this, Intradex, but it's literally like you make a hologram and you interact with the hologram. Or the hologram is already within you, and you interact with it, and that's as good a tease as I'm going to give you. So you're saying that the model proposes in session that you it's empty chair work, essentially? Well, without the empty chair. Yeah, they don't do the... She said, we, we don't do the furniture moving. That's how she put it. It's very funny. Um, so you imagine someone yeah. and interact with that person. And yeah, and, and imagine that person's interacting with you, and this is all acted out. Interesting. Yeah. And it it integrates all of emotionally focused therapy, but also can be used with individuals and helps people with their attachment, attachment. recovery, recovery, um, and can potentially change their attachment style from 
more insecure to less insecure. That's the goal. All right. Well, this is the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a therapist and a professor. Who are you, Bob? I am Bob Gettle. I'm your friend from graduate school and a therapist in practice here in Seattle. This episode is just for patrons of the podcast. Oh, wow. Lucky ducks. So if you want to hear this whole episode, you have to become a patron like all the other people who are patrons. When you become a patron on patreon.com, you'll get instructions on accessing this episode as well as hundreds of other episodes that are only available to patrons. Arguably, our best episodes are only available to patrons. So go to patreon.com, become a patron of the podcast, and know that part of your pledge goes towards various charities and scholarships that we support. We're actually giving out our third and fourth scholarship uh, soon. Wow. Uh, or, uh, the deadline for the scholarship application is the end of December 2019. Both scholarships are for $2,000. Wow. And we've already given thousands of dollars to pet organizations, to scholarships, to LGBTQ wow. charities, to homelessness charities. Yeah, I mean, it's really quite special to, and it's not my money. It's it's the listeners, it's the patrons' money yeah. that I just take a little bit off the top and I funnel it towards these organizations. So patrons out there, or if you're considering to become a patron, uh, know that when you become a patron, you're, you're supporting efforts like that. You're helping someone get through graduate school. One of our scholarships, the one of the $2,000 scholarships, was actually a donation from an anonymous listener who just gave me $2,000 to give to a, uh, a student who needs that money. Wow. Yeah. Anonymous, too. That's lovely. Yeah. yeah it wasn't me. So become a patron at patreon.com and be one of us. You're wearing a Patreon t-shirt. <laughs>